Hey guys, thanks for joining me again today. A lot of non farmers are asking, how do I know when to harvest soybeans? Yeah, pretty simple. The field looks like it looks behind me. The field has to reach maturity, the plant has to reach maturity and die. And then the pod itself, the little pods turn brown and the bean inside is finished. And it will look like a normal little soybean. And uh, so it's just a normal little soybean. So how do we know when to go? We bite it. It's super gummy. We know it's way too wet. They should pop in your teeth or just, they, they should split in your teeth. Pretty simple. They should split in your teeth. If they don't, they're too wet. <clears throat> Depending on the time of the year, we might put up with too wet. We got ways to dry beans. Soybeans move very quickly on moisture. We had a little drizzle come through this morning. Uh, that brought them up three, four points pretty easy. Uh, sunshine with some wind like we have and just dry air will take that away very quickly and so we can go from 17 to 13 to 10 very quickly and and vice versa they move around we don't want to get into that spell of drizzle dry wet dry wet dry because the pot itself will start to leather up and open up itself on the field and soybeans we have to get them harvested we can't let much snow get on the soybeans they can you can get a little flurry come through that's okay but if you get three four five inches of wet heavy snow with any bit of wind behind it you're pretty much done because it's probably going to lay them over if it doesn't lay them over by the time they dry out most of the pods will be opened up there has been years that we've had some snow and we made it okay behind it uh, very rarely do we get snowed on beans because we work extremely hard to get them out before that and so corn, we can let corn stand. You're going to have some field loss by standing over the winter due to animals and weather and whatnot. But beans are not one of them crops. With all their forgivenesses, um, harvesting is very time orientated. We race through as quickly as we can, um, do the best job, obviously. But but yeah, so there's, there's a million quirks about soybeans. Um, there's guys that because of their environment, the pot itself will be brown. They don't get a killing frost, so the stem will just be green. And soybean stems, as they come into the machine, they can turn into rope like a nylon rope, and they can be as tough as nails. And they will give that operator fits, and uh, he will learn how to change some belts and some bearings and some possibly a shaft here and there real quickly. Um, you find out what shape your slip clutches are in and shear bolts are in and beans like that. And so... Even these brown stem beans, when the sun is out, you can mow so fast. Uh, with a drizzle this morning, they're not going to feed as smooth into the combine. They're going to come in in more of a clump fashion. Um, and then they're going to be tougher inside the combine. And so even with the dry be beans behind the frost, we still have our own challenges and whatnot. But yeah, so for the simple summary, the field looks brown and the beans pop in your teeth. Then you know it's time to go. All right, thanks for watching, guys.